member of the Order of the Laurel who will speak to this candidate. Oh, I guess come to the Master of the Laurel to claim that privilege. Long have I known this man before you. Colin McKinnon, my brother in arms. But today I would speak for his heart. Everything this man touches, he does with gentleness, sureness. His art gleams, teaches, whether it be leatherwork, metalwork, calligraphy, illumination, everything this man creates is beautiful. He is an artist, he is my brother, and I recommend him. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican who would speak for this man? Service of a pelican, most of that is done quietly behind the scenes. It's hard to see. But because of that, it is still done. And it is more effective because it is done. There's no reward and no plaque. There's a man who has worked for close to two decades. The world is now recognized. Remember the order of the Lady of the Rose who speak to this candidate. Your Majesty, I, Isabella. chivalrous knights. There's none more courteous than Carl, none more loving, none more giving. Your, my, my lords, my ladies, your majesties, he is my people. Thank you. <laughs> is there a member of the Order of the Chivalry who would speak for this candidate? spoken of Cullen's support of the arts and his service to the kingdom. <coughs> and that a lot of what Farrell says is true, that service is behind the scenes. You don't see it. Now Cullen, for years, has served the army either by helping people get gear, helping people with training, uh, helping his friends, helping those he doesn't know. He there are very few people, I would be very hard pressed to find anybody who worked as hard as he did for years in support of the army, the kingdom, his friends, and all else. And as I highly recommend him. There are cutements that go with his office. There are belts.
Spurs. Spurs. Sarah Seward. Sarah Chain. Let this be the last blow you receive my answer. Accept your oath and know that our lands and our people are safe. Brave warriors like you to protect them. So say I, Griffin. And I, Katarina. From the days before the wall was built and the Eagle Standard flew, a noble people lived in the far north, and their progeny were artisans, poets, and skilled warriors. Of these people, we have been told of the mighty Baron Colin McKinnon who has distinguished himself both upon the field of arms and off. Having borne witness to many of his numerous feats, it is with great joy that we, Griffith Rex and Ekaterina Regina, before his peers, find him worthy to don the belt, chain, and spurs of a knight of the society with all the rights, titles, and duties this entails. Further, we bestow upon him letters patent and it is as is the ancient law and laudable custom of this fair eastern realm. <coughs> By the setting of our hand to this proclamation on the 29th day of January, Anno Societatis 45, at Market Day at Berkeley, this decree is enacted and established so that present and future generations shall remember that which we have wrought. Calligraphy and illumination by Fiona O'Malley. Oh!